Hi, this is Susan from Susan Newman Design Incorporated, and this is a tutorial on uh, your dashboard for Concrete 5. And I just wanted to uh, give you an overview of why this uh, application for content management is so wonderful and so powerful. Um, so you'll see that we're logged into the site and um, this is the basic dashboard where you can uh, view your site map, uh, files you've uploaded, um, product management. This would be this is very powerful for um, you know any sites that are going to have a database of products or for photographers um, or artists that want to have um, pretty extensive galleries. Anyway, so uh, the first thing we're going to look at is the site map. And so you'll see this just like a few pages. And um, so let's say we were going to click on the About Us page. We'll just go there. Um, you'll see that you have the actual design of the page open. And you're literally working on your design. So you would just uh, click up here and it would say edit page. It gets highlighted like this. You click your mouse and um, you can just click on the edit. A typical uh, edit window comes up where you can add content, images, text, links, you know, whatever you want, the same way you would in other content management systems. Uh, let's say we wanted to add an image. And then this is where your file manager comes up. You can either <clears throat> browse for new images and upload them. Multiple, you want to do, you want to click on this link over here. If it's just a single image, you would click here. And if you want a particular image, you just click the box here, click here, and click Choose, and you insert it. We don't really want to change this page right now, so we're just going to cancel out. And we're going to exit edit mode. Now, if you were going to change it, um, and you clicked on exit edit mode, it would ask you if you wanted to save the new changes and publish them and you would say yes. So now let's look at um, the product management section. Now here is where you can just add categories, subcategories, and you can just keep going deeper and deeper. So let's say we went into this category here. It then shows more subcategories. And I think this even has more subcategories. No. OK, so then we just look at the items. So you can add categories, subcategories, keep going. You can nest, nest, nest. Or you can just uh, then, once in something, you can add items. So here we go into the view items. And we would pick one to edit. And so I've already opened this page and show you that you name the image what it is. You can add your primary image. You can add multiple secondary images. Let's say you want to show how to use this stone in a in a floor. You can add um, you know see rooms rooms of images um, and uh, and show a gallery. Um, and then you can put in here um, more images or you can add content about the the product itself. And then we've loaded these variables. Uh, into the database, so so we're gonna you know be able to put in the color, how many come in a box, the weight, etc. Any specific notes about the product, and then you would just save the properties, 
and um, so when we look at the site you can see that if we go to this section and we click on this image and then we look at this product um, you can see how the variables have been added and the information about it. And so one of the things I love about uh, Concrete 5 really is that um, you can see the results of what you're doing right away. Uh, the difference between this and working in WordPress, let's say, is that WordPress you're always behind the scenes and in order to see a change that you want to make you have to launch that preview in order to see it. The difference here is that um, the design is loaded right here and you can edit things right here on the screen. So you can see what you're doing while you're doing it, uh, which is that famous term WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Anyway, so that's a little tutorial on Concrete 5 and there will be more coming. Thanks!